Good morning. So uh, Shilpa talked to us about uh, customers and what is it that they really want. And uh, I noticed a lot of hands going up for being developers. Uh, so how many of you have uh, thought about building a plugin or a theme? Show of hands. Very nice. Okay. How many of you have uh, thought about creating a business around WordPress? Like services, business, uh, plugins, products, anything. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Many of you are probably already into a business that does WordPress. So uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, plugins primarily, but the lessons can be taken for any other business as well, whether it's themes, services, or anything for that matter, anything related to WordPress. Uh, so another question, how many of you like money? Like money? Good. So um, I, I like money and I like transparency reports. Uh, so whenever there is a WordPress company that comes up with uh, transparency reports, I just like dig into that. For example, you'll hear that Gravity Forms does 15 million plus. Uh, theme Isle does 80,000 to $90,000 per month. Who Themes was uh, supposedly acquired for $35 million. Pippin from uh, EDD, Easy Digital Downloads, or Pippin's plugins, he does about 1.14 million last year. Avada Theme does 1 million every week. Wow. And if you're not into the money, if you like the do-gooder, uh, Contact Form 7 does 1 million downloads every month. 1 million downloads every month. And Yoast has done 26 million downloads all time. Amazing numbers, isn't it? And uh, well, these are all non-Indian. So uh, one thing that I can tell you is that there are a lot of people in India who make a lot of money and make a lot of difference with WordPress. Many of them are sitting here. I know at least a dozen companies that do more than $25,000 per month on WordPress. Okay, so there is, there, is, there is a lot of money to be done in WordPress. We've grown 25 times in the last four years from where we began. So uh, we were doing services before, we would, then we did some products, and then we got into WordPress four years ago. And over the years, we have 50 WordPress plugins, 80,000 plus active installs. So um, that's a little bit about me, though, uh, and what we've done. But this is really about you guys. So, so let's just do a check on who we are, OK? So. Um, I have a few things up on the slide, a few points. So I guess we are still not very sleepy, but uh, here's the drill. So what we'll go, uh, do is we'll all raise our hands to begin with. And there are going to be a few things on the slide. If you do not identify with even one of them, then you can keep your hands standing, OK? Otherwise, you can put down your hand. Easy? Make sense? A little bit of exercise in the morning? OK. So raise your hands first. And if you cannot identify with any of them, like you belong to none of these, then you keep your hand up. OK, so we are passionate. We care about our craft. We are dreamers. We are learners. So if you identify, you can keep putting your hands down. Uh, we are developers, writers, entrepreneurs, or entrepreneurs in the making. We are contributors. We love to make a difference, and we are game changers. Anybody left? Okay, good. So this is the audience. This is perfect audience for the talk. Okay, so if your hand is down, this is for you. Good. Uh, all right. So people like us, you know, all these category of people, we have great ideas. We have tons of ideas, actually. So we look at something and we say, oh, there could be a product out of this. I could fix it like this. Uh, there's something better to do with this. or. If I do it like this, that's a great business opportunity. But there's a problem. When we have a lot of ideas, we don't know if they're good or not. You know, we cannot figure out if it's really a great idea or not. So what do we Because your ideas can cost you years, tears, and dollars. Because, you know, typically we hear that your ideas will make you millions, and I'm telling you that your ideas can actually cost you millions, not just in dollars, but in years and tears also. So uh, this talk basically is about my mistakes, 
so that you can choose to repeat if you like, um, or you can choose to not repeat them, okay? So these are the lessons that I've learned. So we got an itch, what do you do? You got an itch for uh, a new product, a new plugin, a new solution, a new theme. You figure there is this little niche that I should build a product in. What do you do? We build it, right? Sorry. <laughs> Get an itch card, do not scratch your itch. Sorry, please. Uh, why? If you want to build a new social plugin, go on the WordPress plugins repo, search for social, you get more than 1,000 plugins. Damn. More than 1,000 plugins for social? Yes. Okay, so uh, if, if you already have an idea, if, uh, okay, if you have an idea, there are good chances that somebody else has already built it. And there are good chances that, that somebody else is not just one or two people, but that's 1,000 people, okay? So, so what do you do? You first look at this number, which is, there are 43,691 plugins on WordPress plugins repo and 4,238 plugins on Code Canyon. Just these two places alone are close to 50,000 plugins. And these are like 50,000 public plugins. Uh, we have tons of other uh, plugin developers, theme developers who do plugins, and plugins which are on GitHub, and the list goes on. Okay, so there are tons and tons of plugins already out there in the market. So you first want to see if the idea that you're thinking about, is it already done? And if it is already done, you want to make sure that if you have a new take on it, if you have a new spin on it, it's sufficiently big enough. Okay, so uh, the scratch your own itch thing is your passion. Okay, I'm going to show you two circles, basically. This is the first circle. Okay, the circle stands for your passion, something that you really like, you care about. This is something that you want to build. And there is another circle, which is about what other people care about, okay? So if these two circles overlap, then and then only you have an opportunity. Otherwise, you don't have an option, right? So no matter how passionate you are about a particular problem or your solution to a particular problem, if there are not enough people who care about the solution, you don't really have an opportunity. Makes sense, right? And this makes sense too. So if you make somebody a thousand dollars, do you think they'll be happy to pay you ninety-seven dollars? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Yeah, very likely, very likely. So what we're really talking about is that when you build something, you better make sure that it creates awesome, awesome value for the person who's gonna use it. Okay, if your solution does not create thousand dollars worth of value for them, Maybe, maybe not, but you know, then very less likely that they'll pay you $97. $97 all, is also just the beginning, okay? So we're gonna have two circles overlapping like this, which is when you have a big opportunity, okay? So you wanna make sure that these two circles come as close and as overlap uh, each other as possible, okay? And when you have such a big opportunity, then the numbers change a little bit and the numbers become like this. That's $5.5 million that Code Canyon does in a month, okay? And, and we spin the numbers. What we did was we spin the numbers. We said, okay, this is the number that Code Canyon makes. This is the number of products that Code Canyon has. If and if WordPress.org repo was commercial, then this is the number that WordPress would make. That's a lot of money. $110 million every month on WordPress repo. Essentially, what I'm trying to tell you is that there is a lot of money. And you guys raise your hand that you are interested in money. Um, so there is a big opportunity in WordPress, no doubts about it, okay? Uh, WordPress is probably the best platform for you to create a new product, okay? Because a lot of things are ready. If you want to build something on top of it, it's so easy. Uh, the resources are available, the tools are there, it's a proven platform, 25% of the world uses it. So there is a huge market out there, it's, it's proven. WordPress can make you big, okay? But the point is, this huge opportunity will be yours only if you're wise. If you just build it, it is not done. So uh, this is what we typically do. 
we build it because we can, isn't it? Like Amit said, right? If we have a, if we have an itch, what do you do? You build it. Why do you build it? Because you can. Kar sakta hai na? Like if if you're a services company, you will say, "Acha, ha, ye do developer free bata hai." Chalo ek plugin banate. Yeah? Okay. Or if you are a plugin shop, you will say, "Okay, customers are asking for this feature, and uh, let's build it because we can, right?" But that's kind of problematic. Okay. Here's a quote from uh, Eric Rice of Lean Startup. He says, "The big question of our time is not whether it can be built, but should it be built? Should you build it?" Okay. That's the big question. So think about that. Think about that with the plugin idea or a theme idea or a product service idea that you're toying with. Um, right. Some more numbers. There are 24 more, 24 new plugins added to the WordPress repo every day, and 8,872 new plugins were added last year. Okay, that's a lot of plugins, which means there's a lot of competition. I don't want to scare you too much, uh, but these, this is the reality. Okay, so you want to like go forward, know what you're getting into before you begin. So the first question that you want to answer is whether to build it or not. And when I look at that question, here are the things that I look at, okay? I'll see whether it creates tremendous value for me and for my customers. First, that has to be there. If it is not there, don't build it, okay? Uh, whether there is growth, whether the market is big enough. If I'm building a WooCommerce plugin, which is for an Indian payment gateway, which is also for a particular special thing that that payment gateway does, I will have very less number of probable customers. But if I build something for PayPal, I have a lot more customers. Or will I have a leadership position if I build this plugin or theme? So if I can have a leadership position potentially, then good to go, no otherwise. Will I want to do this plugin five years hence? Will I want to support customers even after five years? Yes, no. If it is yes, you can do it. If it is no, don't do it. Okay, because we are not here uh, just to become one of those 25 new plugins that are added to the repo every day. I mean, I'm not there. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to be just one of those 25 new plugins that are added to the repo every day. Okay, we want to make a difference and we want to make a big difference. So you want to make sure that whatever you're building is sustainable, something that you would like to do even five years down the line. And you got to have passion, obviously. If you, know, if you don't have passion and if you're just in it for money, you'll make it for a while, but then it won't sustain. All right, so once you've figured out that you want to build it, what do you do next? And you build it, of course. Now what do you do? So once you've built it, the normal choice that we have is give it away for free, right? Put it on the repo, uh, the WordPress plugins repository, which is a listing of all the plugins in WordPress, which are free. So you put it on the repo. Now, if you give it away for free, we'll put food on the table. So you got to ask that question, that if you just give it away for free, then where is the money coming in from? Who will sustain this? And you'll say, oh, I'm passionate, I like this thing, I want to do it. Okay. Five years after marriage, you'll have a baby, you'll have a baby, you'll So you, you want to make sure that you're thinking through all this before you begin. But we don't think through it because we already have a great marketing strategy in place. Okay, so we already have a great marketing strategy in place and what is that great marketing strategy for all of us is this. Right, um, this was my main marketing strategy back when I started. Uh, to an extent, this is still one of the biggest marketing strategies that we use. Uh, we just hope that we make a good product and people will come and buy it. Salai sab chalta nahi hai sometimes, you know, that's the problem. Uh, so I, I can't really do a whole bit of marketing class for you guys, but so I said, let me just cover a few basics, okay? Dusra, uh, what we think is that marketing hai na jo, is only for MBAs, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm a tech guy. I'm like the creator. 
don't tell me about all this marketing shit, okay? So we think that marketing is only for the MBAs and it's not for us, it's not for us techies. Uh, so sorry. Uh, if you are in the business of WordPress, you got to do marketing. If you are like Shilpa said, you know, this is people's business. Uh, any business whatsoever is people business and marketing is going to be there. If you cannot market, then it's going to be really tough, okay? So marketing is not just for MBAs. Marketing is for you, marketing is for me, marketing is for everybody. Related to this, the other thing that we have is this. We like it, but money is evil. When we get a lot of money, we become bad person. Isn't it? Like, how many of you have thought about that sometime in your life that a lot of money and a thought thoda, like you become bad. Like people who have a lot of money are bad people. Isn't it? Isn't it real? Come on. No? no? You guys are all sorted. Okay. So money is not evil. Uh, you will need money. And these are the different business models that you have in the plugins business. Okay. And we check the numbers. 44% of the plugins on plugins repo are somewhat commercial. They're likely to be commercial. Okay. Now he's telling me that I have only five minutes, so I go to rush. Uh, so a few marketing tips quickly. Uh, make your user experience your USP. So you, USP is unique selling proposition. Why would somebody use your plugin or product? If your user experience is good, they are likely to use it, like it, and recommend it, okay? A user experience doesn't just mean UI, it's a whole end-to-end -end experience. And one of the things that come up in that is the readme file. So if your plugin is on the WordPress plugins repo, you have a readme file, which is the description of the plugin, and it's actually your sales page. So if we look at our plugin and we just broke it down, this is the way it is actually a sales page. You have a hero section, you have a call to action, you have an introduction, you have features, social proof, blah, 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 authority, okay? And all this is important. If you have a plugin and you're not paying attention to your readme, hello, wake up, right? Uh, I'm gonna probably skip uh, few things and you can, let's see. So uh, expecting reciprocation is one thing. So when we build a plugin, we think people should like it because we built it, sorry. People don't like it uh, and people are very vocal when they don't like it. Uh, even if your plugin does everything that it's supposed to do, they will say, okay, this doesn't still do this. And in those cases, you'll have to manage their expectations. You'll have to do customer support, which can be a bad thing or which can be a good thing, depending upon how you look at it. Uh, one thing, if your product grows, you stop being a products company. You become a support company, okay? Because as your product grows, what's more important is that you support your customers better and better rather than just innovating your product. And, and we talk about listening to our customers because we want to improve the product, but you've got to listen to them with a pinch of salt. Because your customers will always want the maximum out of you and you want to still deliver but you want to stay focused on your core because you just don't want your plugin to be everything to everybody. You'll have to pick your choices and that's when you use the strategy that Shilpa suggested that yes, understood, but that's not the feature that we're planning to add to our roadmap because our product is focused on doing X, Y, Z. Uh, I had a few marketing hacks but I'm going to skip through this uh, and catch me offline if you want to go through this. Uh, Matrix. Matrix are vanity, I say, but they are also a mirror. What are the matrix? Your number of downloads, the number of customers that you have, the number of conversions that you have from free to paid. Okay, so these numbers, you want to make sure that you track them. Most of us don't track it, but start tracking your matrix because these matrix will actually tell you the reality of your business. Okay, and so don't just track the dollar value. Yes, you can, but also track the other things, okay? And yeah, don't forget the plugins repo rules. If your plugin is on the WordPress repository, you want to make sure that you follow the rules. If you are doing WordPress, you want to make sure that you follow the rules because there are some rules of the game, okay? If it's GPL, it has to be GPL, okay? Uh, if it's on the repo, there is a whole list of guidelines that you have to follow. Make sure you have to follow that, otherwise your plugin will be suspended, okay? Ours was suspended, so we know how it is. Um, all right, 
So uh, that covers a lot of what I had to talk about. But there is one big thing that I wanted to tell you that if you're planning to um, build a product or service around WordPress, we are all in the same boat. Okay, uh, I have the same struggles as you have when you're starting out and you will have the same struggles as I have today. Okay, in one way or the other. We all have the same struggles. We all have the same fear. We have the fear that, okay, we build this, whether it will be accepted or not, whether people will like it or not. We have the fear that somebody else will make better version or somebody else will take this idea and do something with it. So we all have our insecurities. We are all in the same boat. Okay, so let's make friends, let's share and let's grow together. Okay, that's what WordPress is all about. Great ideas without action and execution never get off the ground, isn't it? They don't change the world or your bank account. So, yeah, right, makes sense. So the last point that I want to drive home is that we are all techies, analytics guys. So there is a thing called analysis paralysis. And uh, so you will listen to all the talks. Um, you will get all the ideas, you'll meet everybody, two days you'll be here all energetic and then once you go back home, like, let me say, Achha, Nirav ne bola tha 50,000 plugins. Oh, 25 new plugins every day, right? So don't let that analysis paralyze you. If you have an idea, you think it's worth it, make sure that you do all the analysis, but don't let that stop you, okay? Go ahead and build. Because if you build after all this, then they will come, okay? Thank you guys.